Hmm? Oh no. I don't personally need anything from you. I'm just the messenger. That girl Kuna sent me to give you a message. She said to tell you that she's going on ahead of you to set things up. Rila was sensing something too, so she's out there running around. Looks like I'm the only one who isn't, really. Though, I'm not terribly invested in figuring out the root of what's going down, either. All I can tell is that whatever happens will probably be tough on you and that Kuna girl. Though, you are a good-natured person, which is probably a big problem for the girl. Don't act surprised. You're a pretty easy read. Anyone who looks at your face can tell. Anyway, she has something to overcome, so she went pretty far in there. So if you intend to help her, you better hurry and join her. It isn't my place to get involved. There's no reason for me to. Heck, doing so might even be considered a little uncouth. Sorry, I didn't mean to ramble like that for so long. You should head out. Keeping a lady waiting is even more uncouth. You should get going. I'm going to... Hmm. I suppose since I'm one of the few who knows what's going on, I'll take it as my duty to pray for your safety.
啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。Hadrid。That's right. Yes, I get it. I do. Even if you don't have a voice, I understand you. Come to think of it, even though you and I were raised like siblings, we've never really fought, have we? I suppose you not being able to speak probably helps. Even so, I feel like we get along pretty well. We were together during times both happy and sad. We complemented each other's weaknesses. We always have. <laughs> but as you can see, I can handle things just fine on my own. So you don't have to worry about me anymore. It's time to close the book on this, Hadrid. I'll do it for you. I'll make it quick, quiet, and peaceful, just like an assassin should. I want you to go on one last rampage, a tempest that will shake our core. Your audience may only be the two of us. But you should still be bright, intense, and brilliant. You and I live in the shadows. All records of us are erased. So make sure those here to see you remember you for all eternity. That's what it means to be a celebrity. It's what I aim for, and what you've been helping me attain. As Kuna's brother, you have to make sure that you remain in our memories—a memory that can never be dull or fade. I'm going to need your help too. I am Kuna, the Secret Zero member of the Council of Six, and I will finish my mission by finishing you.
completed. You're trying to tell me, Hadrid? Sing that song once more. You finally learned to speak. And that's the only phrase you know? Idiot. You're so stupid. Really? Truly idiotic! <sighs> Very well! I will sing you as many songs as you'd like! My audience may only be you and Hadrid, but... but that is all the more reason... You hear me, Hadrid? You'd better listen to this. Don't you dare fall asleep on me. This song... This song is for you. And only you.
false Luther have been detected on Omega. We're going to need your assistance, so get ready. I successfully reported in about the Hadrid job being concluded. With that, the series of troublesome events comes to a close. I guess that's case closed. You want to know what I'm going to do from here on out? The same thing I always do. I'll keep up my singing career. And the extra career that no one is to know about. But from now on, I'm going to stop just doing whatever I'm told. I'm going to start thinking for myself. But first we've got some work we've yet to finish. There are other rampaging dragons out there. We have to help send them beyond this life, knowing what they're going through. Hadrid, he always did his best to help me. So now, I want to help others as well. I find myself greatly in debt to you for all of this. Words can't properly express my gratitude. But at least let me say it one more time. Thank you. Thank you for helping me send Hadrid off. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Even if you happen to. So I'm going to do all I can to make sure that the next time we meet, I can be the one to help you. Thank you for coming. I wish to speak with you about the various events that seem to be occurring around a focal point. According to my analysis, she should be around here. Can you hear me, Xi'an? At last, my knowledge has brought me this far. <laughs> I suppose it's too early for me to see you yet. I want to understand you, but it seems I'm not capable of that yet. I don't wish to put you in a foul mood, so I'll take my leave now. What do you think? Did she hear me? I must express my gratitude to you as well. It's thanks to you that I've been better able to understand her. I still don't know why she's doing what she's doing, but I look forward to the day when everything becomes clear. My name is Luther. I'm the director of the Void Apparatus, which you all call the Laboratory. May we meet again. He cannot see me. Even my voice cannot reach him. However, he is aware of me. It is because of him that I have entrusted everything to you. I must sever all ties with him. However, it is also my existence that twisted him to begin with. I regret the inquisitiveness that caused all this, and that I must burden you. So that's Luther, the leader of the Photoners. Strictly speaking, he's the only person now who can truly be called a Photoner. But yes, you are correct. The other researchers simply call themselves that because they wish to be Photoners. First, Elder is released, and now the artificial Draconian is gone. That put enough of a wrench in his plans to make him appear. 
Though to think the first person he'd interact with would be that person, it cannot just be coincidence. I don't care about that. I just want revenge on the person who screwed with Hadrids in my lives. Kuna, our friend here is the key. You understand that, don't you? I'm gonna do this my way. I have no intention of making friendly with you, Kasra of the Council of Six. Or should I say, of the trio of heroes. Anyway, I assume you understand. Yes, I do, Kuna. Once this is all over, you may do with me as you wish. That was our agreement. And considering the risks you're taking, I mean to keep that promise. I hate that I accept everything face of yours. What are you even after? As of this moment, the same thing you are after. Well... I'll follow you no longer. Luther, you're the one person I... <laughs>